the hell is that? Oh my freaking gosh, I gotta get out here. Third phase of moon, Blake Cousins, and here we go again. Incredible video just in, it's the new year, and things have just got going. This video was shot just this December, and it's making the rounds publicly. Becky Lewis just shared this video to me right here at Third Phase of Moon, and it's time to get the word out to the world. Take a look at this. Kidding me. Sally, bar the doors. That is no freaking airplane, friends. Let me tell you, that is no freaking airplane. That's in the southeast, where I always get the red glow. Holy God. Shit, I can't even hold it still. Please, excuse my language. Oh my gosh. I am just tripping out. What the frick? Oh my freaking gosh. Friends, it is going to go behind that stuff and I won't be able to see it anymore. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, what the heck? All right, we got Brent Cousins here. We're going over the video in real time right now. And wow, this is a no airplane, just as Becky stated this, is, or if it is, what kind of airplane is doing this kind of stuff or spitting out this toxic junk? If that's what it is, I don't know. Or could this be some kind of a meteor or some kind of space debris breaking it up? breaking up in the atmosphere now that could be but I've never seen anything like this as far as the normal we get a lot of videos from around the world and I think we've only received two or three in the past for over five years so this isn't normal Brent what uh, what do you think this is Blake this reminds me of World War II when jet fighters during dogfights they get shot down and they leave huge plumes of smoke it seems like if I wasn't mistaken, I'd be looking at this and think this was an airplane falling out of the sky on fire, leaving a black smoke trail behind it. This does not look like normal chemtrails to me. Okay, let's uh, let's sit back, watch a little bit more of Becky Lewis's video as it comes what in raw. What was that? no freaking airplane friends that is no airplane Whoa. I just have little slip-on shoes on and it's really cold out here and I'm not prepared I just about oh my gosh I could see that thing falling Whatever it is. Dang. Stupid wires and telephone poles everywhere. Come in. Wow. Wow. That was no airplane, friends. Okay. Well, whatever it is has apparently burned up unless it's still is it still moving is it still coming I think that's it now this is where it's kind of getting strange she's she's chasing after it she's lost sight of it for just a second now she's capturing this and there's a separation of the smoke trail now I'm getting kind of mad. Kind of mad because... I'm zoomed in all the way. I don't even know what ISO I'm because on. Because there's no answers from a, any kind of military, NASA, of what's going down over go? uh, this area. There's the description below. Everything is uh, stated. Brent, again, this is so amazingly weird. I like Becky has really good patience here. She actually jumps from place to place and she almost thought she lost this thing and it reappeared 
and it's even stranger as it reappears after the clouds. What I'm interested in is what Becky said in her statement. She says the birds were strangely continuing to go by and acting very weird. She even says they're acting like butterflies, like they're attracted in some sort of like thermal thermal blast of some sort. The weather seemed to have their being held in one place. Is that like a zillion birds or something? What the heck? What the heck is that? Totally strange. You know, uh, Becky said this. She says, hi, Blake. A few of my subscribers and other viewers have asked me to send you this to you. You may not be interested. Uh, oh, hold on, Becky. We're interested. Watching the thermal copy reel reveals even more. There's a link below if you want to see the uh, thermal copy. I'm sure that's quite interesting. At several points in the video, as I was filming, either one of the objects in question, birds are strangely continuing to go by. They're acting weird, she states. They appear to flutter like butterflies in some place. To me, in the thermal, it almost looks like they're caught in some kind of weird draft or something. Stranger, still, these two objects I focus on directly are seemingly moving retrograde, even as they're obviously propelling forward. You know, that that's, is strange stuff. You know, this is hot video, really hot. It's just the beginning of 2016, people. Things are happening real fast. Definitely fast, Blake. 2016's lighting up, and this is our first actual submission let me move a little bit more because that telephone pole. Dang it. Hope my neighbors don't mind that I'm like up at their freaking house and between them and all that. Come on. And be sure to check out Becky Lewis's channel on YouTube. The link is below. She has her thermal enhanced video which is quite amazing I, i'm looking at it right now so everybody check that out blake cousins keep your eyes on the skies we're not alone people thanks brent for joining us thank you blake everybody keep watching you know that's a good job becky good job we're looking for more submissions from around the world everybody we're standing by third phase moon blake cousins we'll see you again next time i have never seen so many birds in my life that just kept going and going and going that must be like a major flock of starlings or something i can't get in very good uh clarity it's just the lighting i don't even know what iso i'm on dang it oh, shoot i can't hold still even on the tripod it just keeps spinning here Hang on. Well, I'm zoomed in all the way, and unfortunately, that tree branch is just, uh, not letting my focus come in. Friends, what was that? It's so small now, I can't hardly get anything else of it. You can see the sun is gonna be rising pretty soon. There's still some of that red glow down there though, but that I think that's from the sunlight right there. So what in the world? I don't know, friends. I do not know. Whatever it is, is uh, I don't see the actual object anymore. But look at that. Wait, is it still freaking there? Are you kidding me? What in the heck?
That cannot be an airplane. That just can't be an airplane. That freaking telephone pole, man. Friends, those freaking bird things, whatever they are, are what in the world? <laughs> Maybe it's starlings, because they're always in big, big groups, but dang, they just keep going, don't they? Friends, let me tell you something. If that were a freaking airplane, as long as I've been recording, well, plus the little break in between, that thing would have been gone by now, and it wouldn't be continually heading down, down, down. And yes, there is an airplane.